Hey, this is Brad with Blue Nile Farm. I'd like to give you guys some tips as far as when you're traveling around with a trailer and you have tandem wheels. One of the best investments you can ever do is buy one of these little trailer uh, tire ramps. Trailer buddies, call them whatever you will. They're a plastic ramp that you just back over with a tire that isn't flat. So if this tire was flat, this tire was not flat and this one was, you pull forward and onto the ramp. If this tire is flat, which was my problem, you back up onto the ramp. It takes literally seconds, no more jacks, no more crawling underneath the trailer. And at this time, uh, before I left, I had this thing loaded with hay. So there's really no weight in, in it right now. But even if there was, this is the way to attack your problem the easiest. So if you have a dump trailer, a horse trailer, a camper, a car hauler, any type of trailer that has two tires on one side or even more, these trailer buddies are the way to go. And I don't care what brand you get, but they're cheap, probably like 40 bucks, 45 hours, but it's a cheap investment. The other thing that I suggest you should do, especially if you're traveling, give yourself a half inch impact, battery operated, carry it, especially if you're hauling something. And just in case you do get a flat together, I can change a tire within three to five minutes, very fast and very easy. You know, and of course, make sure you have the spare, and I do, it's sitting over here on the side. But this is just a quick and easy way to zip off a tire, put one on, zip it back on, and you're back in business. No wrenching, no more getting on your knees, no other problems like that. Make your life a lot easier. And this is another tool that I suggest you also keep in your car. This is from Harvard Freight. It's a, a foam kneeling pad. If I, I'm in right now in the mud, if I didn't want to get all gooey, I'd throw this pad down and get on my knees, and I can change the tire very easy. Um, and it's well worth your investment. I mean, I'm getting older, and I hate being on my knees. So this thing really will save you on gravel, on concrete. You know, of course, anytime right now I'm in the mud or on snow, you, maybe you're dressed nice and you don't want to get muddy. This is a great tool. And these are like cheap. They're like 3 to $6 at Harbor Freight when you get them on sale, about 3 bucks. So, but they're really cheap. They're really economical. And the combination of all these three things can't go wrong. So in closing, get yourself a half-inch impact gun with a battery-operated uh, unit. Make sure you're charged up so you have juice. Get yourself a kneeling pad. Definitely get this little ramp. And you carry yourself some half-inch impact sockets, whether they're uh, short or whether they're long. It's up to you. And... Um, make sure they're impact and that'll be the easiest way to change your tires and carry probably a screwdriver to pop off those caps but no matter what you do you cannot go wrong with these little simple tools for a quick trailer change so to recap the equipment that you need make sure you get the best half inch battery operated impact gun that you can get for the money in which you can use with other attachments Invest in six-sided half-inch impact sockets in either metric or standard. Half-inch socket extensions or deep well sockets are up to you depending on your layout, but they're always good to have just in case you need to get more depth and penetration. Any type of uh, screwdriver or, or pry bar will help you as far as getting caps off if you need to. They're good to have. Brands like Trailer Aid or another company could produce and supply you with the proper ramp that you'll need to get uh, tires up in the air for easy tire removal. Knee pads have many uses, but I keep them in my vehicle just in case of flats or I have to crawl underneath the car. But they're good to have and they're cheap and they're something you should look into to make your life a little bit easier getting on your knees. Hey folks, thanks for watching the video on tandem tire repair. Hopefully you uh, got something out of the video. You know, I've been many times, I've been in situations where I'm hauling something and all of a sudden I get a flat. I always keep a spare and I always keep those tools on me. And it's a lot better to, feeling when you know that you have the tools to get the job done. You know, don't get stuck on the side of the road waiting for somebody to help you. This is the best, easiest way to do it. The tools I recommend are definitely going to make your life easy. Until next time, see you guys later.